Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to uh, show you quickly how you can uh, use Rompot uh, to run stable diffusion at any time. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to cover some of the basics. Um, the process that I'm going to show you is going to be streamlined but it will take some time when you're trying to do it on your own for the first time. So um, I already uh, created some of these uh, workflows. Um, now uh, you will be able to do it on your own as well. Um, so the first things first, uh, you have to go to rompot.io uh, where we will actually rent a GPU and a network drive uh, to run stable diffusion. And you need to sign up, of course. Uh, you can use a Gmail extension or another email that you want. So I'm going to uh, log in. It recognizes my username. And I already have some, uh, some funds here that I have already uh, added. So if you go to billing, this is where you can upload some credit and uh, the GPUs and the network drives come at a cost and they're paid per hour. Um, so I would recommend starting slow, maybe load like $10 of credit and see how much you use. And then you can um, add more amount in case you want to uh, use it more often. So um, after you do this, you can go to pods and you can see I don't have anything uh, deployed yet. And we are going to basically uh, use a stable diffusion template, which is going to make this a lot easier. So you go to de deploy. And the first thing you want to do is um, you want to go to network volume and create a new network volume. Now, I've already created some network volumes here. So you can just hit plus. And then uh, we have to find a data center that is going to support um, stable diffusion GPU. So um, normally I use RTX 4090, but RTX 3090 seems to perform uh, well, uh, well too. Um, so you can look for some of these. Um, I think I used these European data centers to use um, RTX 3090. And this one also has uh, RTX 4090 available. And depending on the models you're going to upload to this network volume, you can uh, signify uh, a space of 100 gigabytes and give it a name. Let's call it um, ST. Um, let's see. Um, 111. Uh, let's do it 111. Let's do create. So my network volume is created. So I'm going to choose that and it's assigned to the data center. Um, global networking. Um, you don't need to turn it on. Uh, I keep it um, off and then we need to do a uh, secure cloud. Um, let me see. Um, you can actually do global networking, turn it off. And I'm going to do um, RTX 3090, which is a bit cheaper. And um, 4090 performs a lot better because it's a latest generation, uh, but 3090 also works fine for these tasks. So once you choose that, you need to come down here to pod name and under pod template, uh, probably you will get something empty. And then here you can just write in stable diffusion and choose the ROM pod stable diffusion template. So this is the one I uh, use and you're going to do on demand and GPU count. You can keep it at one. So once you do deploy, um, let's see, this machine doesn't have any resource to deploy your pod. Um, Let's choose 4090 instead. It's going to be, let's see, that one is working. So sometimes the GPUs may not be available and you have to choose another GPU. Um, but um, after this is done, um, it, this will take some time. So it will basically start running the template file, uh, run some uh, Python modules. And what it will do is it will basically start syncing up uh, the stable diffusion inside that network drive that we chose. So if you go to logs here, um, you can see it's right now running this routine and creating an environment uh, to workspace um, so, so that we can basically access some of the files. Um, now this will take some time and I'm just going to leave this as is. Um, but once this is done, um, I'm going to basically show you uh, how we can start the stable diffusion. Okay. So, um, what I did here was um, 
Okay, so our pod actually started. So this took a while. Uh, for the first time you're doing this, uh, this might take actually like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but once it's done, uh, you would see uh, under these logs, you can just press here, logs, and you can see this loading up the model and it's right now running. So in order to see the stable diffusion interface, you go to connect and we have the HTTP service. So if you click on that, uh, this should load up uh, the default stable diffusion interface. And uh, it basically comes in with this base model. So if you write uh, something here, let's say aerial view uh, city, um, and I'm going to increase the resolution to 1024, hit generate. Um, the first time it's running as well, this will also take some time, but eventually you will um, start seeing some images, right? So the base model is right now working. Um, but in case you want to run this with additional models, I'm going to show you how you can download and install those as well. So if you go to my pods, uh, the HTTP service is basically where you access uh, the model, uh, the stable diffusion automatic um, 1111 interface. And then if you go to Jupyter Lab, uh, this is basically um, showing you um, the environment uh, where the pod is using the models and the files. Um, so right now um, I have stable diffusion here. So there's kind of launchers here. We can launch terminals, consoles, uh, but this is the workspace that we work in. So uh, without going into too much detail, the simplest way to think about it is if you want to use another model for the generative tasks, let's say you want to download um, a, a stable diffusion model that is trained on architectural data set or some other uh, visualization style, um, you need to upload it uh, to this drive. So if you go to web UI, under models, go to stable diffusion. Uh, so right now you can see it says put stable diffusion checkpoints here. And we have these three models already loaded. So if I go to the web UI interface, uh, and if you click on this drop down, you can see these are the three, three models that are um, that can be used for stable diffusion. Now let's try to load uh, one more model. So I going to go to Civit AI and you can also create um, an account here. And this is um, this basically generates very nice architectural images. I use it for my own workflows as well. Uh, so you just click on this download button and what it will do is it will basically download the safe tensors uh, for this architectural model. So it's it, this will also take some time, it's two gigabytes. And once you have that, what you need to do is just drop it here uh, so let me show you. So I'm just going to cancel this and open up my downloads. I actually already have it here. Um, so architecture real mix, you just drag it here. And then it's basically saying it's a large file. You want to upload it. You can just say upload. There's also another way of uh, running a terminal and pulling um, online models directly here. And this would also take some time because you're up uploading to a network drive that is in a data center and mine is in Europe right now. Um, but after this is done, uh, you'll be able to uh, basically access it in stable diffusion. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, basically um, go back to the pause and show you what it will look like. So I'm going to close this and uh, close this as well. So once you're done with this, you can see um, this is running, um, this is an hourly rate of 69 cents. So if you're done using this, um, you can just terminate it here. So if you terminate, it will delete this. Um, but if you want to run it again, like you want to access stable diffusion again, you need to deploy, hit deploy and select the GPU, select the network drive and run the whole process again. So uh, because I'm, this will, the upload of the safe tenses will take a lot of time. I'm just going to terminate uh, the stable diffusion and show you um, the one that already has it. So this is another um, pod that I launched using another network drive that I've already uploaded um, quite a few um, of these uh, safe tensors. So I'm just going to hit connect and close these off, uh, turn these off. So go back here, start the HTTP service for this one. So once you have uploaded um, that architectural uh, model uh, from the architecture real mix, the safe tensor, if you go uh, hit here the update button and hit the drop down, you will see it here, basically pulling it up. So if you choose that, it will be loaded onto the GPU. 
um, it's uh, it's basically loading up the weights of that model and now you can use that specific uh, model for image generation tasks so this might also take some time uh, so let's see let's go to logs to see what's happening so right now it's creating a model from uh, configuration it uploaded architecture real mix safe tensor so it's saying loaded weights uh, model loaded in 19 seconds so it took some time but now we have it so if I write for instance um, aerial view of a futuristic city uh, forest background let's uh, try this and I'm going to generate four batches CFG scale let's bump it up to 14 so that we get images that are closer to the prompt and um, it's the first time I'm running this GPU as well so it's going to take a little bit of time so there you go um, it's working it's generating images but uh, we can also upload additional checkpoints if you want right so this is one of the safe tensors that I up I downloaded from Civit AI you can find other models and uh, drop them in using Jupyter Lab, and once you have it here under the checkpoint you can use them um, for image generation tasks or image to image um, and control it as well so um, I'm just going to um, basically end this introduction here um, and um, if you want to use um, RomPod for stable diffusion it already has the template file uh, here and you can download uh, some more additional models from uh, Civit AI and load them in as model checkpoints using Jupyter Lab. Uh, let me show you again. If you go to Connect, Jupyter Lab is here. HTTP services where you access the Stable Diffusion interface, and uh, you'll be able to run it. And once you uh, finish using it, uh, you need to terminate um, this ROM pod. So it basically keeps the models that you uploaded in your network drive because um, that's where we are loading it up. Um, but the GPU service, you're terminating it so that you're not paying it on an hourly rate, right? So if you keep this up and running, this will basically deplete all the funds that you have, right? So it will keep uh, charging you. So uh, after you finish using, just terminate it and uh, that's it. So every time you want to use it again, you can just go to deploy, choose the GPU, uh, choose, the, um, choose the network volume that you created, and then... Um, here, choose the ROM pod stable diffusion template and deploy on demand, and you'll be set to go. Okay, so I, I hope this was helpful. So now you can um, basically use um, stable diffusion without having a GPU on your computer. You can use these call services. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in another tutorial. Take care.